Mike, I, I wanted to ask you that too. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year, when all your Buffalo guys came in together, it was, well, we know coach, mm -hmm. we know some of the staff, we kind of have a leg up on everybody in that way. Has that line disappeared or, or, or been erased um, a little bit? I mean, do, yeah. do you guys are you guys all just Jayhawks now? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And we, we always have been Jayhawks, um, you know, since we got sure, here on campus. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it, like, it's just been a great team, welcoming. Um, and I was able to help the offensive line with the playbook. Um, and so this year when we were kind of going through it, it was a little bit different. Now guys are really smart with the playbook, really fast with it. Um, so we just can go through stuff a lot quicker and be on the same page. Um, so it's just a different look. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been awesome. That's got to be a good measuring stick too then, right? Because yeah. last year that was such a defining thing. Mm -hmm. Like, well, these guys kind of know and we don't and all that. I mean, I'm not trying to yeah. make it a divide, I got you. But, yeah. but you know what I'm it's saying? It's just, that, uh, you know, after you get a year with the playbook and stuff, you get more confident lining up, you know, just the little things really, just lining up and, and simple stuff like, people lining up differently and what we would do there you know we already are on the same page with all that stuff sure so you kind of just skip the first couple steps and um you can just go a lot quicker be a lot quicker and efficient L last thing i want to ask you too <laughs> coach lightpole just told us about uh coach sleeve basically saying no one came here to play weightlifting no. he came here to play football <laughs> absolutely uh, what does that mean to you to hear first of all a strength coach say <laughs> that yeah. And second of all, what, what, you know, is it a good reminder to have that? Or? Absolutely. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, in the offseason, you got a lot of months where you're just training and you're not strapping up a helmet and actually playing football. Um, so you kind of get a little distracted in a way. Um, but then, you know, once you come back, this is why we came here, you know, yeah. for today and for this whole upcoming season. You know, this is why you work all those months in the offseason to get here. You don't come here to work and then take off the fall. Did, did he just say that recently? I mean, does he remind you along the way, yeah. like, hey, don't yeah. forget, there's fun at the end of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he I mean, he, he played. He played tight end, and he has a great heart for football. Okay. Um, so it's, it's great to see both sides of him come out. Sure. Awesome. Hey, Mike, I was yep. wondering if you could talk about um, – I mean, Gildersleeve, you, obviously you've got an advantage over a lot of players because you've known him from your days at Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Just tell us about it. What's it like working for him and having it's, him run it's the awesome. strength and condition? Every day he comes in with energy, energy, um, and you got to match it. And he's going to pull the best out of you every day. Even when you don't want to do it, he will keep pulling on you. And that's why I think that he's one of the best strength coaches, if not the best strength coach, because he spends a lot of time with his players outside of the weight room. He wants to know, like, is something going on? Let's talk about it. You need help? Like, I'm here for you. So he's just been a great figure, and uh, he cares about his players a lot. Dre took the same path you did from Buffalo to Kansas. It sounds like he may be getting some snaps to center. What do you know about him, and what can you tell us about Dre? Yeah, he's got a great work ethic, great head on his shoulders, and a great mentality. You know, he's a very uh, versatile offensive lineman that we can put really anywhere. And uh, he has a great mentality to learn more and want to learn more, that hunger. Um, and I just like the track that he's been on. There's no doubt that knowing who your quarterback is can help a team, right? I mean, however early, Coach Leipold was just in here and he said, you know, if you want to type this, you could type it. Leipold expects Daniels to be the starter in game one. I mean, he's not hiding from that. What, what does that do for, for a team, for an offensive line especially, um, to, to kind of know that or maybe have that expectation? Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really change too much for us. Okay. Uh, you know, we're still focused on our job and whoever's behind us, uh, we're going to do everything we can to keep him clean and make sure nobody touches him. Um, you know, J.D. is a great leader. You know, he commands and demands in the huddle, and he's a guy you want to be around. Can it, does it help an offense in terms of just chemistry and things like that? Um, I mean, a little bit. I, I wouldn't say it's, Same stuff. it's, it's changing, but it, it, it helps a little bit sure. in a way. Sure, sure. What are you seeing from Jalen and, and JC's relationship? Just that friendship that seems to be formed despite, you know, what could have happened with that competition? Yeah, they, they have a great relationship, and, you know, they love competing. Both of them love competing. So, you know, they just come to work every day, and, you know, they haven't changed any of their personalities or anything. Um, you know, they've been great, both of them. have been making plays, making good throws, and, and just being good in the huddle. Both of them.